welcome back to the channel if you are new my name is Leslie and I like to post lifestyle budgeting and motherhood type of content here on the mother plan so for today's video I'm going to be doing another debt payoff update so we will be going over the numbers for April of 2022 and if you guys saw my last update you'll know I'm trying a new style so you're going to see me face to face for a bit and then we're going to get into the numbers on the paper. Um, before we get started if you could do me a favor go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you like these types of videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and go straight to the numbers. I'm going to flip you guys around and we'll see how much debt we paid off for the month of April. I'm the landscape you need to see the artist I'll never be I'm so sorry I never stay overreact and just walk away take me back to the place I know I have the power to let things go I'm so lost I can't see the shore you know what that means we've been here before So first, let's go ahead and write down all of our totals. Since we are paying off the credit card, you know, we're focusing on this one. I don't want to do this one first. So I'm going to write down the total for the credit card, the amount that we owed, and I'm going to also write down the other two before we get into the payment amount. So for the credit card, the old balance was $10,175.33. And that's the current debt that we're working on. The solo panels, we still owe $30,185.64. And then finally, the student loans, we owe a whopping $33,628.49. So the total for our old balance was... $73,989.46. Okay, so let's get into our amounts. I'm going to go from the bottom up. So we made our regular payment of $135 for the student loans. We are still waiting to see what's going to happen with these student loans. So as of right now, half of them are being deferred. And the other half that's not, I am paying $135. So I just make my basic payment of $135. The new balance was $33,551.41. So we were able to take off of the principal balance $77.08. Moving up to the solar panels. So we already said the old balance was $30,185.64. I made my regular payment, which is $195. And we were able to bring that down to $30,087.81 and $97.83 was able to come off of the principal balance. Okay, now we got that out of the way because you already know what those numbers are going to be. You know we're focusing on this credit card, so let's get into it. So, we were able to make a huge debt payment not as big as my one back in, you know, December, January. Y'all know that one was probably, I probably won't ever get a payment that big. <laughs> but this was still a really good payment for us because our goal is only to pay $2,257. That's just what our balance was when we started. So I aim for that amount every single month. Sometimes I may not get to it or I, sometimes I go all the way over, but that's like my goal. So we definitely passed the goal and we were able to make a payment of $3,170. Yay, I'm so happy. Like, super, super excited because I'm not really sure at this point, this was back in April, so at this point we had got our tax return, all the things. I don't know if I'll be able to keep that up, so I definitely, definitely, definitely want to celebrate being able to pay over three grand to one debt. So super, super excited, y'all. We definitely hit some milestones. Y'all know I like to always celebrate every time we hit under another thousand. Each thousand we hit, I like scream happy joy. 
So we were able to bring that all the way off of the balance because remember we talked about last update, that was it for the interest. So everything that we put to this credit card, it goes directly to the balance. So I'm so happy with that. So that's why I was definitely just trying to get as much of that balance down as I could because I know now we don't have any interest so I should be able to knock it out a lot faster. So it brought the balance down to $7,005.33. Whew, that is, <laughs> that is great. Almost was under $7,000, but I couldn't quite swing it. But we would take it. We went from $10,000 all the way to $7,000. So as we talked about, that principal is going to be the exact amount, $3,170. All right, so let's go ahead and just get the rest of the numbers out of the way. So the total payment between that $3,000 payment and then making my minimum payments, I was able to throw $3,500 total towards debt. Now, our actual principal amount that came off was $3,344.91. All right, I know I did leave the new balance blank for a second, but let's just go ahead and move all the way down to our summary. So like I said, we just paid the $3,344.91. I'm gonna go ahead and put that towards this month's debt. So let's go ahead and calculate our monthly interest. So I'm going to take that $3,500, subtract the $3,344, and we'll get our monthly interest. So the total amount that we threw away, that's the bad news, was $155.09. And it's y'all, it's pretty much going to stay around this amount here on out just because now we're working on that credit card. So the only interest that I am accruing is going to be from our solar panels and the student loans. So I expect it to stay around this amount. We started off paying a lot. I want to say like $500. Let's see. So yeah, it looks like we were paying about $560 of interest a month in the beginning. So that's probably as low as we're going to get it for a while. And I'm super, super happy with that. So we will take it $155. Doesn't stink as bad as, <laughs> as almost $600. So small wins, small wins, and that is one. Okay. And then now we can go ahead and start to add up our interest from this month and the amount that we've paid up until this point. So the total interest so far is $10,940. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> and two cents. Like, ugh, just makes me cringe each time. Okay, so that's the bad news, right? All right, so let's get to the good news, the best news. Let's see how much debt we've paid so far. So I'm going to take that $3,344.91. Then I'm going to add it to the amount that we've paid so far. That is $51,478.05. So I'm going to add those two together. And our total amount is... $54,822.96. Yay! High five. Boom. Okay, so that is great. I'm so happy about that, right? And almost close to 55000 We should hit that for next month's update. And y'all, we about to be under seventy grand. I'm just putting up the new total right now, but we're about to hit under 70 grand for the next update. I cannot wait to be under 70 grand. Like we should hopefully hit it with the next month update. If not, maybe after that, because I do know my payments do start to slow down quite a bit. Like I said, this was from a tax return month and all that. I stopped picking up extra shifts at that point, so I wasn't making too much extra income. So the payments are going to go down a little bit, but hey, it's okay as long as I'm making progress. So this one I definitely had to celebrate because that was a huge debt payment. 
So, like I said, we are at $70,000, $70,644.55 for our new balance. And I couldn't be happier. Can't wait to share next month with you guys. We're going to be under that 70 k mark. And then soon, oh my gosh, like I can't believe it, but we'll be able to say we're halfway there. Like... I hope within the next two or three updates, we'll be able to say we're half, we're at the halfway point of our debt. So definitely, definitely a good, good thing to look forward to. I'm always looking for milestones and I feel like that's like one of my main tips for people. When you start off with a massive amount of debt like we did, you got to break it up and have smaller goals to achieve so you can feel good about your progress. Because, you know, six figures of debt is pretty substantial. So it's kind of like you feel like you're never going to get done. So I just celebrate every time I hit under, uh, like, a grand. At first, I was just like, happy to hit under a grand, under a grand, then under five grand, then under ten grand. So, like, now, like, I get really, really excited when I'm hitting underneath another ten grand. So those are ways to kind of keep yourself motivated especially when you pay off a debt that's another way that I like to keep myself motivated instead of looking at dollar amount look at how many debts you have if you start off with 15 debts 10 debts 5 debts when you check one off the list pat yourself on the back because that is a great accomplishment and you have to celebrate your small wins in order to continue to see the bigger win which is what you're ultimately trying to achieve right so that's my little soapbox right there. <laughs> that's my little tidbit for today. But that's pretty much it for this update, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that little red button and subscribe button. It helps the channel out so much. And if you guys are on your own debt-free journey, let me know down in the comment section. I would love to hear about it and see how you guys are doing on your journeys. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.